my creative capacity to deal with you is infinite. My resources are endless. But my patience, sad to say, is quite limited. Need I sign this? You have been warned by Count Carlo Maria Vincenzo Robespierre Manzeppi. <laughs> Your servant. <laughs> People really should make a point of listening to you, Mr. West. It makes a great deal of sense. Brilliant, Mr. West. The one point of the compass where I never thought to look. Very important, aren't they? After all, what is life but an entrance, a brief performance, and then an exit? Coin a phrase. Mr. West. In the past, you and I have had our little differences. But we would do well to remember the Bard's immortal reminder. Strive mightily, but eat and drink as friends. Greediness is unbecoming. Let others amuse themselves. Yes! The Philosopher's Stone. The fabulous stone that transmits base metal into gold. The stone the demented old alchemists of the Middle Ages fretted away their lives trying to compound and look you. One of them did compound it. <laughs> that story would weave a tangled thread down into the misty stench of ancient crypts, through the brooding bazaars of Damascus, up to the high wastes of Tibet, watered by a small ocean of blood. How time flies when you're having fun. It must have been something very valuable. In point of fact, the value was largely sentimental. It was a toy chicken. But it's the principle of the thing. Hmm? Dodo. Large, flightless bird from the Isle of Mauritius, distinguished for its clumsiness. But first, I would like to be allowed to teach Monsieur West a dancing lesson. All right, Dodo. If it doesn't kill you, it'll be very good for your soul. By the by, in case your curiosity is aroused, these are the instruments with which Benji will perform on you the ancient oriental rite known as... What is that lovely name again? Mushiri Tori, the divine stripping away of the husk. Yes, that's it. Here for your edification is a savory dish I prepared with my own hand. And it is my humble wish that you find it as memorable as those timeless words of the Byzantine emperor. Herodotus, si nihil vincitatem, negatatem. If you can't beat them, kill them. Dear me, Mr. West, this looks like a situation that would strain even your talents for survival. Mr. West, Enjoy. <laughs> Do you think she got away? Don't stumble on the way up, Mr. Gold. <laughs> Hi ho. 
Another chapter closed. Another horizon to turn one's eyes to. You're threatening me with a golden gun. I don't think I've ever been threatened with a golden gun before. It's charming. Never argue with anyone when you're on the wrong side of a gun. Hmm? Bless you, my child. Of course you'll shoot me. Don't the ladies have unique ways of showing their affection? Adieu, my blossom. The moon was your undoing. But allow me the final courtesy of a formal speech of capitulation. The moral of all this is that no sensible sorcerer should ever have an apprentice. I stand before you destitute, deserted, and unarmed. I surrender. Later, gentlemen, later. At my choice of time and place, I assure you, we shall meet again. And until then, comfort yourselves with those ageless words of the Pompeian composer Herodotus, Olia Golian, artist raised in Isa Hay.